I'm like, look, I need like the encyclopedia history and legend and birth and myth of mittens. That's what I need. I don't need a link to the Burlington Coat Factory, okay? <laughs> Hey everyone, did you have a nice Halloween? I did. <laughs> I switched the lights to purple because it's not Halloween anymore. Hmm. Which is very sad. But it's always gonna be Halloween in this room, so everybody's just gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> so how did you guys like my special Halloween vlog that I did with like the games and stuff? I know a lot of you seem to be getting a kick out of it and a lot of you guys did really well in the questions and I hope I didn't make it too hard, but I hope you guys had a good time and I hope it was fun. <laughs> so Halloween is over and that means that it is now Christmas because I have been in full Christmas mode ever since Halloween ended and that's not because I'm a Christmas nut. It's not because that's what the rest of the world is doing. It's because I make candles and as soon as Halloween is over I have to start thinking about Christmas candles so that's what I've been doing. I had on like Christmas carol like songs and stuff and was like singing to them and everything and like getting full into the holiday mood and trying to go through all these ideas to come up with my new Christmas candles for this year. It was really hard <laughs> because it's hard to think of new, new ideas you know like scary stuff's easy. Scary stuff I can do all day long, every day, and you know, I do. That's the whole point of my candle brand is spooky stuff year round. But when it comes to Christmas stuff, you know, it's a little bit harder because there's only so many things you can do. I mean, there's only so many fragrances, there's only so many themes, and it just, there's, it's kind of limiting. And it's hard to just not repeat what I've already done, you know. But I asked you guys on Facebook, if you follow me on Facebook, you know, some suggestions or ideas of things you would like to see in upcoming Christmas scents. And uh, a lot of you actually suggested things that I already have. <laughs> and, you know, I already have them. And I, I assume that most of you who suggested those things, like, aren't aware that I already have them, which is completely fine. I don't expect you guys to know every single candle in my inventory that I sell. You know, that would be ridiculous. But yeah, most of them I already have. Uh, but a few people did suggest some things that I was just like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's cool. That would be a cool scent idea. So um, I took a couple of them and went in a direction with them and I was like, okay, so I did come up with my Christmas candle line. That's not what this video is about though. <laughs> not yet. Anyway, I came up with the ideas, took me a couple of days of brainstorming, running stuff by JJ, running stuff by my mom. My mom did contribute again this year. Uh, she contributes to every major collection now it seems, which is awesome because the woman is full of ideas and it's amazing. So she came up with one and then she helped kind of come up with a different one. I sort of combined two things she thought of and like put them together and made a thing. And it's nice. I think that it'll be a nice combination of like traditional scents and novelty scents and a couple of spooky scents in there as well. Spooky Christmas type deals. So I'm excited about that. Um, my materials arrive in a couple of days, so I'll be able to get started on those. And as soon as I get them done, I will be listing them for sale. But I wanted to show you guys something really cool and really special. So I had this idea to do something a little bit different this year. Not with every single candle, but I'm gonna do it with a few of them, uh, like baby steps. Okay, it's... Um, well, I don't want to blow it. <laughs> I'm going to make you wait and see, but it is different and unique. Well, okay, not unique. It's unique to me, okay? I've never done anything like this before, so I'm trying to up the bar, I guess, on things. I don't know. But one idea that I did have... Okay, I gotta be honest. This purple light is actually kind of bumming me out. I'm switching it to orange. Give me a second. That's better. It's actually really nice. My baseboard heater is like right in front of me and it's on and I'm having my bare feet sitting on it and it's like really warm and cozy and it feels really nice. So anyway, the new, the new ideas that I have for the candles, I'm only implementing it on three of them, okay? But I figured I had to test them. Definitely have to test them because this is new territory for me. Totally new. And one of them I made a sample of tonight because I wanted to see, because I did have this fragrance on hand. I didn't have to wait for the supplies for this one. So I made a little sample of it just to see how it would turn out and how it would burn, most importantly. So I haven't tested it yet, but I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek as to what the new fangled idea that I had was. This one is one of the novelty ones, but oh my god. I'm excited about it. I think it's really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what the label is, what it's called, okay? So keep in mind, this is just the sample size. This is the four ounce size. So this is what you would get if you order the four ounce 
tin at any point, okay, with any candle. So this is the candle and I'm gonna show it to you. It's Little Nero's Pizza. <laughs> and hopefully most of you get it. If you don't get it, that's the pizza delivery uh, company that Kevin from Home Alone orders from. And the guy comes and he hits the statue and everything. And then he plays that prank on him while playing that movie and making him think that like, People are shooting guns at him and stuff, but whatever. So that's Little Nero's Pizza. I want it because I had that pizza fragrance, remember? I got it just to see what it smelled like, and I'm like, what can I do with this? Christmas, Home Alone, Little Nero's Pizza. I figured it was perfect. So what I did with this one that is new and unique and special that I've never done before, I added something on top. Okay, so first of all, it is a novelty candle because it does smell like pizza, trust me. I have been sniffing this thing ever since I made it tonight. It actually makes me hungry for pizza, I'm not gonna lie. I, you'd think it would be weird to smell, but it actually smells really good. And it's, oh my god, it smells like a freaking legit pizza. I don't know how they do this. I wish I knew the science behind this and the internet is no help, but yeah, it smells like pizza and it's amazing. Like, it smells like good pizza, like delicious. It actually smells really good. Mmm, that's nice. So I'm gonna show you what I did. And this is what I'll be doing, okay, on all the sizes of the candles for this one. Not the wax melts, but all the things. So it's still a work in progress. And JJ gave me some tips and I'm gonna go with his suggestion, I think. But I just wanna show you the prototype. So this is what we've done with the Little Nero's Pizza candle. The top layer is gonna be red, which means the sample size is going to be completely red. So like sauce, right? Like pizza sauce. And what we've done, is we have added cheese and seasoning flakes okay it looks like you know the pizza sauce because the candle's red and then there's little flakes of cheese and seasoning flakes now um jj suggested that maybe fewer flakes of cheese would be good and maybe a little bit more seasoning flakes and i think that he's right i think it does need less cheese but um they, this is just soy wax this is just shredded like i literally hardened up a ball of soy wax as hard as it would go because it's very soft wax and actually literally grated it through a cheese grater onto the candle so it's like grated cheese shredded cheese whatever the seasoning flakes are actually green shaved dye flakes that i use to color my candles and i thought that that would make a cool like seasoning look so i'm gonna have to fiddle with it a little bit just to get it right just to look right i guess um let me know what you think by the way but yeah i think i think it does need less cheese but yeah i think it's cute because you know all kevin wanted all he wanted in home alone was a cheese pizza just to himself so this is a cheese pizza and it smells like a pizza which is just weird and i still can't wrap my mind around it but it smells really good and it's a pretty strong scent too. I barely put any fragrance in this at all. And it's very strong, like not in a bad way. It's just very fragrant. It smells like a pizza shop. Like you walk in, this is what it smells like. But the one thing that's the most important thing to do is I have to test it. I have to burn it to make sure that it burns right. That's what this is for. So we're gonna test this together and I want to see how this burns and what it looks like. More importantly, what it smells like. So we're gonna do this together, ready? Okay. So we've got our little Nero's pizza candle here. The wick has not been lit yet because I wanted to save the testing for you guys. So here we go, we're gonna try it out. Make sure it burns fine. Well, it lights fine, <laughs> which is good. All right, so that is actually really cute. It looks really festive, you know? I mean, I know it's supposed to be cheese and seasoning flakes and all that, but considering that it's it's red, white, and green there, you know, it looks Christmassy. It looks really festive. That's really nice. So I think we're just going to let that burn for just a little bit and keep our eye on it and see how it goes. Okay, I started the timer right after I lit it before, so it's been burning for a minute and a half now. And the exposure is all off because the <laughs> candle flame is so bright. But yeah, so it looks like it's burning okay because like the soy wax is so soft, the soy wax cheese, and it just kind of melts around it and blends down into the red. And it looks like it's burning okay, but the real test will be like when we get out to the sides here, like if the wax will reach and pull that far. That's the goal. That's the idea. So we're at two, almost two and a half minutes now. 
So we will continue to see what this guy does. <laughs> this is fun. And now it smells like pizza in here. <laughs> so while that's going, it's literally right next to you guys right there. So it's nice. Yeah, it smells like pizza in here now. And it's weird because this is my bedroom. My bedroom should only smell like pizza when I order Pizza Hut and watch a scary movie with Scrappy. That is the only time that this room should ever smell like pizza. <laughs> it's a nice candle, you know, it smells good at the risk of everything that I know about candles to not do. Don't pick it up while it's lit, but I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. It's a nice candle. And I mean, like I said, it looks festive. Like, you know, it's a pizza candle for crying out loud, but it looks nice. Like the colors and everything, like it just, it works, you know? Sitting that gently down. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, that's kind of the idea and I'm doing that, not that, but I have similar plans for two more of the candles in the new Christmas line this year and I think they're gonna be really cool. It's actually, for the other two, it's more complicated than that. This was just shredding some soy wax on the top of this one and calling it a day. The other two, a little trickier and um, I'm looking forward to my supplies arriving on Wednesday so I can test those out and see how they go because, oof. <laughs> but um, you're gonna have to wait and see about those because um, they're gonna be a little bit trickier. I've never worked with embeds before, uh, but I kinda always wanted to, so I figured this would be a good place to start baby steps, but don't worry. I will be testing them to make sure that they burn properly and evenly, and I won't stop until they're perfect. So I'm not gonna send you a flawed candle, is what I'm saying. I'm going to test them extensively and make sure that they are perfectly good before sending them off, because like I said, I have no experience with this. Kind of got the idea of it. I researched it a lot. I did do a lot of research, um, which is how I knew what materials to use and how to use them and stuff. So I have that on my side, but I am going to try them out and test them. Hopefully they work out because I'm really excited about them. I think they're gonna be really cool. So if you're interested in what the candles are that I'm going to be making this year for Christmas, I will give you a really quick slideshow of all of the labels that I created. Can you read fast? Was that fun? Yeah? But don't worry, I'll be doing a video showing all of them, smelling all of them, describing all the scents to you, explaining the feeling that I'm going for with them, you know, all that stuff, just like I always do. And this time I'll do it as myself, not as the two ghoulies, you know, from the Halloween thing. Not sure how many people actually like that or even got the joke, to be honest. But anyway, I will put on a Santa hat and makeup. <laughs> makeup. Yay. And present the candles to you in a video. And the reason I'm not as spunky right now as I usually am is I'm not feeling greatest today. I got kind of a headache and my nose is stuffy because it got really, like I'm not sick, I just don't feel great in the head because it got really, really cold here really, really fast. And it actually snowed um, the night before last or last night. I don't know, it's, it snowed for a couple of days now. Not like snow, snow, not like, do you want to build a snowman snow? but a dusting and it's cold and frosty and frozen and white kind of in places. And um, it's, it's already winter. I mean, it, you know, they let us have Halloween. They let us have Halloween. The weather was really nice. It was like 50 degrees, something like that. Perfect weather for running around at night, trick or treating and stuff. And then it was like Halloween ended and winter arrived because that's North Dakota. <laughs> And it's dumb. But anyway, so the weather always plays heck with my sinus situation when that happens because I don't like extreme temperatures and when it just plummets like that and it's just like an extreme drop or extreme rise in temperature, my sinuses just play heck with me and it makes me very sluggish and bleh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm not as entertaining as usual, if I'm even entertaining at all. I don't know. But I was really excited about this little Nero's pizza candle and I wanted to show you and I wanted to test it immediately. So I'm glad that we could do this together. So let's check back in on our pizza candle now. It has been um, almost eight minutes. So we're going to look at the candle here. I'll pick you up and no cuts so that you know I'm not cheating. So this is at about the eight minute mark. Focus, damn it. And yeah, it uh, it still looks pretty good. It looks like it is pooling out to the edges fairly easily. Like it doesn't look like it's having any trouble getting through 
the cheesy top and then those green dye flakes are kind of melting in there a little bit and making like these little green wisps. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. I, I really like how that's burning. I'm very pleased with that. I mean, I'm gonna let it keep going, you know, because typically you wanna burn a candle for a couple of hours at least, um, between two and four hours usually. That's my recommendation anyway. Typically you burn it so that the wax reaches, like the wax pool reaches the edge of the jar. And if you don't do that, it's most likely going to pit and then the wick is gonna drown every time that you relight it after that. In which case you gotta pour out the top layer of wax to sort of like recenter it. It's a whole thing. So make sure when you're burning the candles, you make sure the wax pool reaches all the way to the edge of the tin or the jar so that it's burning down and melting evenly down like that. That's my advice because it's important because a lot of people light a candle for just like a few minutes. Like if I blew it out now, just that middle part would have melted and it would make a pit so that the next time I light it, it's gonna be even harder for the wax pool to reach the edges and it won't burn down evenly. So. In case you didn't know that, that's a kind of candle burning etiquette, I suppose, to get the best wear out of your candles. Not just mine, but any candles, really. That's kind of the rule of thumb. I guess not a lot of people would know that. Why would they know that, right? But I know it because, well, I make the darn things. That's my tip from me to you on how to burn your candles as efficiently as possible and get the most out of them and not risk that whole wick drowning in the wax thing. And also, my mom is guilty of this sometimes, but when you have the wick lit, sometimes it'll like kind of like fold down on itself and make like a little ball. There's like a little nubbin, you know, like a little wick nubbin burnt ball thing on the top of the wick. Yeah, you wanna break that off. Uh, don't light the candle, don't light the wick with that ball still on there because that'll completely screw up your burn and your wick life and everything like that. So break that ball off and ideally you wanna keep the wick trimmed to about a quarter of an inch uh, at all times. That will give you the best optimal burn. So I don't know why I've never shared this with you before. I just, I guess I never really thought about it, you know? <laughs> There's a sticker on the bottom of all my candles. Um, I grab my Witch's Cottage candle that I have here in my room that I burn every once in a while. This isn't the same sticker because I, you know, I changed the pliers and I had to order different stickers, but there's always a sticker on the bottom of all my candles that gives you burning techniques, you know, like don't burn it on a flammable surface, keep the wick trim to a quarter of an inch, you know, burn between this amount of time and this amount of time, keep away from children and pets, that sort of thing. So um, if you ever have any doubts, whoa, <laughs> if you ever have any doubts, okay, don't do that, moron. You know, just look at the bottom of one of my candles and it'll tell you basically everything you need to know if you get stuck. We are at almost the 12 minute mark on our Little Nero's pizza candle. And let's take a look at it here. Just the worst job of focusing when I turn it around. It doesn't like to focus. See, see that looks really nice. I think that burns pretty well. That wax pool is definitely wanting to reach the edges. It, the wax cheese doesn't seem to be inhibiting that at all. This, <laughs> the camera does not know what to focus on. It's like, do I focus on the flame? Do I focus on the cheese? Do I focus on the wax? What am I focusing on? I'm confused. It's okay, camera. Yeah, so it looks like it's doing pretty well and I'm pretty pleased with that. And my God, does it smell like pizza in here now? <laughs> Jeez. That is just crazy to me how they can make all these different fragrances. Like I've researched, I've well, I've tried to anyway. I've tried to research online, like how, how do you make these fragrance oils? Like how? You know, it's not like you have essence of popcorn laying around, you know, or essence of pizza. Like, what do you do? Do you just wring out a pizza into some essential oil and that's how you get the fragrance? How do you do it, right? Everything I find online, it's like, mm, how to make your own fragrance oils, you know, get some peppermint leaves or get some lavender buds. And I'm like, yeah, I know all the obvious naturally occurring scents in the world. Like, yeah, you can make an essential oil out of that. But how do you make the popcorn one? How do you make the ice cream one? How do you make the pizza one? How do you make the bonfire one? How do you make the marshmallow one? You know, like, I don't get it. Like, and the internet is zero help. I've tried to research this a lot. Nothing, nothing. It's just all these DIY videos of like hippie girls telling me how to make my own essential oil blend out of naturally occurring fragrances in the natural world. And I'm like, that's not what I asked at all, Google. 
dummy dum dum. I get very frustrated when I have to Google search for stuff because like I'm smarter than Google apparently because it just does not understand what I'm saying half the time and I get really frustrated. It's so stupid. One time for my book I had to research mittens. Mittens. I had to do research on mittens. There's a scene with mittens and I need to know everything about mittens. You know what Google tried to do? It tried to sell me mittens and show me pictures of mittens on Pinterest and show me how to make mittens. I'm like, look, I need like the encyclopedia version of this, you know, like history and legend and birth and myth of mittens. That's what I need. I don't need a link to the Burlington Coat Factory. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, that's a completely side segue rant. It's not even a segue, it's a tangent. I'm sorry, my brain is not working right now. My sinuses are just like so mad at me because of this weather change, it's ridiculous. But anyways, well this candle has been burning for more than 15 minutes and it still looks pretty good. I'm gonna let it keep going, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. But I'm, I'm pleased with how it's going. It looks like it's gonna be good, but I am still gonna take JJ's advice, I think, and add less cheese. Not only will it look nicer, but I think that will also minimize literally any question or risk whatsoever of it not burning properly. Uh, I forgot to do the shake test um, in front of you guys. I did it by myself though. Um, when I had the candle before I even lit it, I was like concerned. I'm like, well, this is gonna be shipped, right? It's gonna travel. So is the cheese and stuff gonna stay on the top? You know, cause I kind of packed it down. It's soft wax meets so soft wax. So I, you know, did a little squishy bit to make sure that it was as secure as possible. So I put the lid on and JJ was sitting there too. I'm like, okay, this is the travel test. So I kind of shook it back and forth and up and down and upside down and did like a little like, you know, turny. I turned it all different ways, kind of as, you know, aggressively as I could and opened the lid up. Nothing had moved. Not one little piece of cheese or uh, seasoning bit had moved at all. So I'm confident with that. So don't worry. And if you get something with displaced cheese on it, I apologize, but it should be fine because I did test it you know, the shipping test, because I'm like, this thing's gonna travel, it's gonna fly all over the place. I don't want this cheese to end up like in the lid and not stay in the candle. So it should be good. It should be good. I tested it pretty good, so. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me tonight and little Nero. This thing smells so good. I just can't get over how you do a pizza scent. I just, I'm flabbergasted, but that's amazing. So I hope you guys are interested in that candle because I'm excited to make it and it does smell really good. I know it sounds weird like a pizza candle, but you know, it's a novelty and it's a little Nero's a home alone shout out and it does smell good. It's nice. It's quite pleasant. I hope you guys are looking forward to my new Christmas candles this year because I am and I hope you guys are uh, looking forward to the new surprises that I have in mind because I am. Those are going to be really cool. This is like the less cool of the three cool things that I have planned. The pizza one is the lowest on the scale of cool. <laughs> so I got two other really cool things in mind. So I, I just got to test them. So I'll be releasing those as soon as I get my supplies and get them finished, shoot a video, get them photographed and get them listed, which could take a couple of days after after that so probably next week sometime you'll be seeing them so make sure to check back go to my website and subscribe to the mailing list so that you know you'll get the email and you'll know that they're released because everybody who subscribes to the site underworldconnection.com you know I always send out an email like hey new candles you know come and get them so you'll definitely know what's going on that way too if you subscribe and sign up for the candle club definitely do that because then you can earn points and get free stuff and yada 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 so i will see you guys next time thanks so much for hanging out with me today and yay christmas is coming ha, ha, ha. so don't forget to watch out for the sheep as always and vlog phrase of the day is keep the change you filthy animal if you get it you get it <laughs> i'll see y'all next time merry almost christmas Yay. <laughs> okay, bye.